27 kickoffs this year, Charles. Liberty has only executed five touchbacks, so 80% chance this will be returned. Here comes Nikeem Johnson from the four. Out across the 25. And decent starting field position for the 50-year senior, Rex Cooper. Some question about whether Tucker would be available, but he's obviously available. First throw for Culpepper. He's going long. Deep down the sideline for Harris, but it's broken up. Flame special teams were a huge story last week. Demario Douglas leading the nation by 21 yards per punt return, but this one is not returnable off the foot of Cooney. And Nolan Cooney with a solid punt. Forced a fumble last week and also had a 29-yard scoop and score for a touchdown against the Blue Devils. On third and short, Willis set his feet and threw a rifle, but it was incomplete. Purpose and people got tremendously cared about him here in Syracuse. Great stuff. Abby in the second throw of the game, Culpepper's first completion, the tight end Aaron Hackett. No one on the Syracuse roster other than Culpepper has thrown a pass. There's Tucker escaping, but not getting free forever. Elijah James perseveres, brings him down to the backfield. Touchdown for Nikeem Johnson this year. On third and ten, Culpepper zips it in there. It's going to be shy of the first down. Anthony Queeley in the shotgun stand. Happens when you get it to 
into the red zone. The inside, look at that. You can't go that far down inside. You've got to keep somebody outside. This week than last week for Syracuse. But they trail by seven. And they begin the second quarter with a second one run. Before transferring to Liberty. Now on third down. Culpepper throws and it was nearly picked. Chris Meganson had it go through his grasp. Had a 73-yard punt return for a touchdown last week against the Warhawks of Louisiana Monroe. One of three special teams touchdowns for the Flames last week. And he fumbles it. He muffed the punt. But Liberty appeared passed on it. Now Syracuse saying they have it. I don't and think it's Liberty. Orange ball. Yeah, yeah, Liberty didn't get it because the ball squirted it out. Pretty good arm. Can he use it here? They set up the screen. Harris with room to run to the 10. Down to the 5. They needed the 5 for the first town. Charles, it will be very, very close. Yeah, they didn't look at this before, but let's see if Harris is able to get the first down. They didn't look at it. That was close. Culpepper, 6-3, but they give it to Tucker. He's met up front and denied. Liberty's defense holds. Actually a Virginia Tech commit, but he was going there to play DB. And he wanted to play QB. And he goes down inside the five. Marlow Wax, the freshman from Baltimore, comes up with a stop on third down. Runners up, but seasons of the CBS show Survivor. Tucker to the outside makes a win, miss inside the 20. And a big run for Sean Tucker into the red zone. He's saying, you know, Marcus Allen was fast, but not as fast as this kid. <laughs> when he compared him to Marcus Allen, he was just saying he's got track speed. Now he's coming, and they fake the handoff to the left and said it's the tight end. And into the end zone for the touchdown. Here he comes, on cue. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> on second and one, it's Lewis bursting up the middle. Lewis breaks a tackle for the second time. Lewis goes the distance. Touchdown, Liberty. 52 yards for Shedro Lewis. And then what happens next? Inside, they run effectively. That block right there by the tight end was good. But look at the hole on the inside that just allows Shedro Lewis to go to the house. You beat me outside, give me the run game. I'm going to take it. And I think Syracuse is not stopping them inside in particular, but outside as well. Johnson has some room down the sideline. It was the... <laughs> Kicker Barbier, the flag gets thrown late. He picks up steam here, and he's going to work himself outside. <laughs> Barbier really wants to hit people. Sets up Syracuse at midfield, and now they go backwards. Heck of a stop by Jawan Treadwell in the backfield, loss of five. You see Anthony Butler's eyes making plays, but on the outside, you're going to see number nine come hard. Mario Douglas back at his own 10-yard line. Fair catch made near the six. Up the middle, another good chunk to move the chains. Want to give them a chance to make plays. Metcalf, Brown, Treadwell, and others. But, but Evan, I went back and looked at those teams. They had effective running games because they, they would do it. Third down so far. They haven't had many, obviously. Malik's going to throw. And he completes it to Stubbs. And he's going to be a yard or two shy of the marker. Willis going to keep it himself. And he's got the first down for Liberty. Gutsy call. Pays off. First down for the play. Here's Peyton Pickett. Another gigantic crease. Out to midfield. Before he 
He's ushered out of bounds by Carter. They run to it. So blocking inside there, and then you see Wax getting thrown around. Damian bounds. Huntley in motion. Again, it's Pickett. Again, it's a crease. And Pickett absorbs the first contact and spins. From the 40-yard line, second and nine. Willis looked like the quarterback draw. He breaks it to the outside. And it will be third and seven or eight. On third down, under pressure, Willis escapes. He's got the first down. Inside the five, he lost the football. It's on the ground. Inside the five, and Syracuse has it. <laughs> and when he gets out there, gets a little loose with the football. And he's able to get by about three or four defenders, but at the very end, he takes a shot. Looked like the, the ruling on the field was a fumble recovered by the defense Syracuse. The previous play is under further review. It's definitely yeah. out. Michael well, Jones, the, the forced fumble and the recovery. The quiet leader, right? He wasn't quiet on that play. Second in the nation with two interceptions, and he comes three interceptions, excuse me, but he comes over and Willis is actually securing the football, but that's almost one of those where they say put it to the sideline. It would be a huge play for Syracuse. Tucker running out of his own end zone. Makes a move. Tucker's got 74 yards on the ground in the half, and there's another decent chunk, but the clock's winding down. Taj Harris going to run out this first half clock and that will take us to halftime. That winnable game is against Wake at BC inside the dome after that. Lewis another huge hole and there he goes again out across the 45 yard line to start the second half. Effectively behind that good blocking up front look at that boom you hit those guys perfectly nice block there by Cooper McCaw. He hadn't had to throw the ball a whole lot. They've been able to run it effectively almost every time. Now it's Pickett's turn. And he gains about four yards before he's forced out of bounds. It'll be third and one. Fatu Melifonbu. Pickett with Willis in the backfield. Malik keeps it. Fires deep. Open man has the touchdown. It's DJ Stubbs. 36-yard catch and score. Starting the second half, Charles. They beat him on the ground, and then they beat him in the air, beating Greenwood over the top. Stubbs with the score. Used one of seven on third downs. Make it two of eight. Harris across the 40, dives out beyond the 45 to the 48-yard line. First down, Syracuse. For a second, Darrell Johnson came charging onto the field, then he retreated back to the sideline. Got there before the snap. Syracuse sets up the screen, but Harris gets crushed. Anthony Butler drilled him. A gain of just one. It's fourth and two. They need two. Quick throw. Complete down past the 40 for the Syracuse first down. That may be an outdated listing. Trying to set up the screen again, but Lutz is going to get brought down for a loss. It could have been a seven-yard loss. Instead, it's about a four- or five-yard loss. Dabney. The read and recognition of this Liberty defense has been really good, especially on these screens. Emmanuel Dabney there at that time right there, and then on that middle funnel screen. Need to get all the way down to the 30. Culpepper steps up. He's got time. And he completes the pass for the moment, but it was broken up. Cedro Lewis standing at his own seven. Fifth punt of the day for Cooney. Fair caught at the six. Willis by himself in the backfield. And that's incomplete. To the outside intended for C.J. Daniels. Akeem Johnson at his own 45 awaiting the kick from Alvis. Presumably good field position coming here for Cuse. And he'll fair catch it inside the 40. Pretty good kick there from Alvis. 48 yards. Another third down and long. Culpepper short-armed it and it's intercepted. Chris Meganson lays out and takes it away for the Flames. 
as Syracuse turns it over for the first time. Meganson, see, he's on that hash. He's coming to this hash. Meganson reads it, stays underneath, and just slinks and goes to the football. Even if he's not there, that ball is not completed. Really nice play by Meganson. His first pick of the season. Of course, the stop on fourth and short doesn't count as a turnover, but that was a huge play, too. Now Lewis, and he's hitting the backfield and spun down by Drew Williams. On the run blitz, and this is how you come through the alley if you're a defensive guy. You just say, okay, I'm flying through there. I see nothing but one in me, and I'm going to take him down. Split second there. Third down, and it's complete to move the chains. DJ Stubbs doing a little dancing out there and gets shoved out of bounds. Long before they were in the Bowl subdivision. Nice throw by Willis, finding the pocket against the zone with C.J. Daniels. Another nice chunk in between Williams and Carter. Talk about this line keeping you clean. Four rushers and everyone picked up. Given plenty of time to Willis. You have Chris Baird running the underneath and then over the top. Really nice. And really put that mouth guard all the way in. Just kind of the Steph Curry free throw look right there. Up the middle, Peyton Pickett, touchdown Liberty. 16-yard burst up the middle. The Flames are pouring it on here in the Dome. Not over yet, but they're on track. They have double tight over there in a flank position, and they're blocking everyone on that side of the line of scrimmage has come off with authority and watch Pickett. See, you have everyone blocked up. No blue jerseys that you can think of, and then when he sees the hole, see that one cut and go? Everyone is all locked up, and he knows on the backside. I don't need to cut back way back. Knows it, and they're putting them in and they're putting them in a position where it's just harder for them to get any yards. Tucker on third down and six picks up enough to move the chains. Third downs on the year three of twelve today. Third and nine. Call Pepper running out of time. Aaron Pierre gets home for the Liberty defense. Bringing down Culpepper for the sack. The backs are going to do their job. This defensive front gets off the ball, and they know. Let's get to the quarterback. Multiple guys getting there. Sit at Bollinger. It's Pickett up the middle, and he's hit near the line of scrimmage, and this is going to be very close. <laughs> Taking the play clock down to one. Well done by Willis. But he's hit in the backfield and drilled by Koba again. Lee is flying around right now. And let the play clock wind down. Pressure coming. Short pass. Lewis missed a tackle. Lewis brought down shy of the first. 1,000-yard rusher, 1,000-yard receiver a year ago. This year it was Liberty, LSU, and Oklahoma that lost a 3,000-yard passer, 1,000-yard rusher, 1,000-yard receiver. Seen some really good Duke, North Carolina State games in the past. Sean Tucker to midfield. And the country. Yeah. And you got to think a team like North Carolina, Notre Dame this year since they are in the conference. Defense has to improve, but they can score points on offense. And I agree with you. That's what you have to do if you play Clemson. Culpepper barking out the play. Fakes the give to Tucker. Looking for the end zone. Queely, he's got it. Touchdown, Syracuse. 21-yard strike from Culpepper. 45 to go. Third touchdown pass of the day for Rex Culpepper. This guy's a battler. Don't count him out just yet. 313 yards so far. Oh, well, 311 yards now as they force the loss of a couple. Michael Jones in the backfield there. City. Second and 12. Willis going to throw it. And he's got a wide open man. Goodness. Johnny Huntley was uncovered. He's going to sneak over there, and you're going to see before this, Cedro Lewis works himself out. So it takes everybody out of that picture because they're so concerned with it. Huntley just gets caught in that little area. And Liberty lets the play clock line all the way down, and Willis gets to the edge, takes it inside the 10. The patience of Willis and the ball handling skills open this play up. They've got a third down play here. Pickett up the middle, near the goal line, 
but stopped short. Alex Kessman for Pitt hits a 58 yarder to close regulation and tie, and then missed the extra point in overtime. The first of three ACC opponents for Liberty. They also have games at Virginia Tech on November 7th and at NC State on the 21st. Culpepper, deep throw, Queeley. And the flags fly. Aquili earned that penalty by trying to jump over Emmanuel Dabney. Give him a fair chance at the position. Culpepper rifles one down the middle and completes. Two of three on third down today. Liberty defense rushes four, and Culpepper's pass is incomplete. He said, you can hit that 10 out of 10. This is Malik Willis talking to himself. Bulldozing run. He gets close to the marker, but he's going to be a yard shy. Back inside their own 30. On the other side of the field, Willis puts the game away, endures the hit by Koba. That'll leave a mark. And Liberty and Coastal Carolina jostled for position at the top of that league. Liberty and Coastal now two of the undefeated teams in the country in FBS. Hopefully these coaches have a healthy respect for each other. They know each other well. They've, And I think the biggest thing is just the big thing with now is that you usually see guys come together at the end. But I think the big thing is you're, you're saying let's make sure we all stay safe.